Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to part one of the tic-tac-toe tutorial series. In this video, we're gonna teach you where to get the images. And we're also gonna write some of the code for this game. If you like this content, please make sure to hit the like button. All right, let's open up our browser. And I left the link in the description to this image. Go ahead and download this one in 128 pixels. And we also need a X image. So let's go ahead and download this one in 128 pixels as well. Now we're also gonna need an icon. So go ahead and download this image as well, but I want you to get this in 64 pixels. You don't have to go with these images if you don't want. There's plenty of images in this website for you to choose from. So you can go ahead and grab some different ones if you want. I'm just putting these out there as a suggestion. After you download your images, I want you to create a folder and I want you to name it tic-tac-toe. Now let's go over to our downloads folder and let's copy these images into that folder. Let's rename this image to O. And this one to X. Now let's go over to Python. And let's create a new file. Let's save it in that folder. Let's call it tic-tac-toe. All right, and finally, I want you to go back to that folder and I want you to right click this image and open it with paint. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Click on the fill bucket and select the color that you like. I'm gonna go with this green, click the image and then save it. So just go to file, save. All right, we can exit out of here. Now let's go back to our Python file I'm gonna make my text a little bit bigger so you guys can see it better if you're on your phone. I'm gonna go with 34%. The first thing we're gonna do is import tkinter. This is gonna let us create GUI. We're also gonna import tkinter message box. We're gonna use this to display a message that says X wins, O wins, or it's a tie game. Now we're going to create an instance of TK. This is going to let us use tkinter's methods. The first method we're going to use is main loop. Main loop is an event handler. It's looking out for events like the click of a button, for example. So if you click on a button, main loop is like, oh, you clicked on a button and then it does whatever you instructed that button to do. So it's just making sure that your window is live pretty much. Let's run this. So this is what that created, a GUI, but it doesn't have anything in it. This is as plain as it's gonna get. So we have to use methods of tkinter to add things. For example, we could change the title, we can change the icon, we could add buttons and a bunch of stuff in this window. So let's change the icon. To change the icon, we're gonna use another one of tkinter's methods icon bitmap and in here we have to include the name of the file that we want to be the icon let's go back to our folder so this is the image that we want to be the icon but icon bitmap only allows ico files this is a png file so we have to convert this file into an ico file so let's go back to our browser and i want you to go to icoconvert.com when you get here, I want you to click on choose file. And I want you to upload that image, this one here. So just double click that, click upload. Here's the image. And then I want you to select 64 by 64 and click convert ICO, download the icon. And let's go grab that image from our downloads folder. 
this is it right here go ahead and copy that and put it in the tic-tac-toe folder so at this point we can delete this one we're not going to need it anymore and let's rename this to tic-tac-toe okay now it's a type ico so now we can use it in our icon bitmap method so let's go back to python and let's include the name of that file here, tic-tac-toe.ico. Let's run it. And there's our new icon. Now we want to change the title. So we're going to use another method. This one's called title. And let's call this tic-tac-toe. I'm going to do all caps. Okay, let's run it again. All right, here's our new title change. And you see how you can resize this from width and height? We don't want the user to be able to do that. So we're gonna call in another method. This one is called resizable. This one takes two parameters, one for width and one for height. So if we set width to false, it's not going to let you resize the width and we can also do the same for height so this isn't going to allow the user to resize the window from width or from height you actually don't even need to include height or width you can just set it like this and it'll work just as good let's try it all right and you see how it's not letting me resize the window anymore so that's what that did for us. Now we're going to be creating two global variables that we're going to be using in part two. One is going to be named click and we're going to set it to true. We're not going to use that yet. So let's not worry about that yet. And we're going to create another one count equals to zero count is going to keep track of how many moves have been made. So a tic-tac-toe game should only have a total of nine moves if we're already on move nine then that means it's a tie game so that's how we're going to know it's a tie game now we're going to create nine text variables text variables are associated with widgets in tkinter in our case we're going to associate these text variables with our buttons we're going to create a total of nine buttons so we're going to create a total of nine text variables each text variable is going to be associated with a button and the way that we're going to use these is let's go look at our image so let's say that you click on this button that's button number one so this is button number one two three four five six seven eight nine so if you click on button number one we're going to set the text variable associated with button number one to x and if you click on button number two and this is an o then we're going to set the text variable associated with button two to an O. And then we're going to compare those text variables to see if you won the game. So if button one has an X, if text variable for button two has an X and text variable for button three has an X, then we know that X won. I hope I'm not confusing you guys with this. This is going to become a lot more clearer in video two when we actually use these text variables. And I'll make sure to go slowly that way you know exactly what these text variables are doing all right so let's go ahead and create these we're going to call the first one btn1 that's short for button one and we want it to be of type string all right let's create the rest of them
after we create our text variables, we're going to bring in the images that we downloaded. So we're going to bring in the X image and the O image. We're going to store them in their own variable. So the X image, we're going to store it in this variable called X photo. And we're going to bring it in using photo image. Photo image is another class of tkinter. To bring it in, just type in file equals and include the name of the file. This one, we named it X and it's of type PNG. And we're going to do the same thing for the O photo. Okay, so we just brought in our images. And now when we create our buttons, we can set those buttons equal to these images. All right, once we're done with that, we're gonna create our functions that we're gonna use in this game. The first one, we're gonna call it play. This one is gonna contain the game. And press, this one is gonna check to see which button you pressed. Check win. This one's gonna check to see who wins and clear. This is gonna clear the text variables. So basically resetting the game so you can play it again. And that's gonna wrap it up for this video, guys. I'll see you guys in part two.